From large to smaller to the smallest, the minification of components is not only a trend for mobile phones and computers, but also ensures new creative ideas for researchers. Especially medical technology is intent on shrinking their products to allow entire laboratories to be accommodated in a single ship. The so-called miniaturization raises many hopes. Miniaturization and microsystems will bring many advantages to industries. For example, a very practical thing is your cell phone. This is 10 years old. It's very heavy. And if you look at this nice smartphone, you've got many functions in a very small compartment in a very small room it uses very little energy and if you have got a mass production you uh, can produce microsystems very cheap and those advantages will be needed in medical technology as well with microsystems we do very small things things which fit in your hand are even much smaller and uh, we would like to create sensors and in one place we would have multifunctional sensing which has can send uh, data wireless and there are telemedical applications are there very interesting a vision could be if you take the example of the cell phone that you put a drop of blood analyze it and send it to your medical doctor as a kind of a lab on a chip uh, the way to the market is a long way and at medica and compromed we discuss this Uh, with medical device manufacturers. But medical markets are highly regulated and for this we have many discussions for the future but the vision is clear and I think the products will come someday. There are many innovative companies who try to bring new products onto the medical market but this is not very very simple. Uh, this is the same with the automotive market or with the food industry. Not any invention goes uh, onto the market but we do need innovations because there are many challenges with the demographic change and the aging society. We need new innovative products for medical devices. But not only manufacturers should profit from these new possibilities, patients should too. In the future, tiny amounts of blood may be sufficient to deliver lab results. The key word is lab on a ship. But can these miniature labs replace the job of a traditional laboratory? In principle, processes from the lab can be re replaced by lab on a chip systems, um, although it has to be taken into account um, that the processes are typically very complex. So um, there will be no uh, one fits all system. Um, so uh, rather, very specific systems will be developed and established. Um, and I see the most potential um, for application in the areas of uh, medical emergency treatment, um, point of care diagnostics, of course, and also in the home care area due to the uh, aging of um, the population. We are working in the um, development of miniaturized components and systems. One of our standards pro standard products is the, a micro pump, and I have here a, one part of the micro pump. It's a vial foil, which is actually showing very nicely um, the critical um, elements in, in production of miniaturized components. It's actually um, the tolerances. We here have um, tolerances of one micron in the production process. And as you can understand, this is very critical to be built manually. So you need an automized uh, production facility, uh, which we have established especially for this product. Um, the advantage of lab on a chip systems clearly lies in um, less reagent and sample uh, need um, on one side. And on the other side for the patient, uh, it gains uh, mobility and uh, speed in, in um, sample results and diagnostics. Um, the disadvantage uh, lies um, in very specific systems which are developed for like one diagnostic reaction and um, well it, it is uh, going to be interesting how it will be developed if um, yeah, one system will be able to, to um, carry out multiple um, analyses. In the area of uh, miniaturization, um, it's going to be interesting to observe um, which systems will be established in the market in the next years and which standards will also be developed um, for greater market penetration.